Welcome friends, it is I, your Slice Guy, and it's time for the Beginner's Guide to On Her, the first of a big series of every guide eventually. And what we're going to go over here is who is On Her, what his abilities are, how to play him in Conquest, how to play him in Arena, the do's and don'ts of playing On Her, what items work well with him, also what counters him well, and just other information about him, and just good combos that you can do with him. And that should be everything, so let's get to it. On her, also known as Mufasa, is the god of war in Egypt. He's the son of Ra and the brother of Bastet, and he's also a hunter that knows how to wreck people with his spear. He has a passive that allows him to penetrate using his spear for basic attacks, impale, and desert fury from his ultimate. He also has a pillar that slows in body blocks. His impale can also knock back and stun. He can knock back with his leap. He also has a leap for escapes. And of course, his desert fury ultimate gives him CC immunity. With all that combined, this hunter's the total package. So let's go over on his abilities. First up is his passive, Enfeeble. When Honor hits you with a spear, which is his basic attack, his impale, or his desert fury ultimate, your opponent loses 15 physical protection. So what that means is you don't have to build penetration early. You can consider getting that later on in the match and focus on other things in your build. Also, the debuff lasts for 3 seconds. Honor's first ability is Shifting Sands. This is a pillar he summons out of the ground with sand around it that lasts for 7 seconds. Anyone on the sand will be slowed during it and they also take additional damage from Honor when he hits them with any of his attacks. Also, you can use the pillar to body block. On her second ability is Impale. This is a skill shot that goes through minions and stops at the first god it hits. It knocks them back, and if they get knocked into a wall, it will stun them. So you can use Shifting Sands plus Impale as a combo to stun an opponent and then beat them up while they're stunned. On her third ability is called Disperse. This is a leap that he can use aggressively if he wants, and where he lands, if an enemy god is near him, they will be knocked back. He can use this to set up his Impale combo with Pillar for a stun, or use it defensively to escape. On her's ultimate ability is called Desert Fury, where he throws 8 spears in succession, he is CC immune during this, and his spears do go through walls. So defensively he can use this to get away, or offensively he can use this to shred people to death very badly. It can be used with the Impale Pillar combo to get a guaranteed at least 2 or 3 hits with the Desert Fury before you have to aim the rest of them. Now On Her in Conquest for beginners should only be played in the ADC role. That means you're in a dual lane with a support. And here you should be playing very safe, you should be farming as much as possible, Get last hits when possible because you get extra gold for last hits. Don't die and never initiate with your leap. Just do not do that. You want to save your leap for escapes and you want to try to impale people to stun them into walls or your own pillar and do a lot of damage that way. Just weaken your opponent but don't try to force kills and don't get caught. Late game, your basic attacks do incredible amounts of damage and you'll just be wrecking people left and right. Now good supports for you are Ymir because he can stun people to set up for your stun. He also can make a big wall for your impale to fly into. So they can pull people to set up for you and also pop-ups. Then there's Koopa Khan who has a Mesmerize and a Root who can also set up your things. A lot of supports work well with Honor but I think these three are the best ones for you if you're going to duel with, with a pre-made. Now do's and don'ts with Honors. Now here's some do's. These are the combos you should do with Honor. You should set up your pillar and throw your impale at your opponent to hit them into the pillar. This will do a stun. You can do it very quickly. Just hit one and then two really quickly you'll be able to pull it off. Now another one you can do which is more advanced, I don't recommend for beginners, is Disperse. With Disperse you can pop someone up. When they're popped up, you can pop up your pillar and then hit them with Impale to stun them as well. And then finally, after that stun, you can hit them with basic attacks or your ultimate. Hitting them with your ultimate, you will hit at least two or three guaranteed before they get out of the stun, and then you just get the rest of the shots on them. So you can do all that. You can also, of course, also use your ultimate as a CC escape. Last thing is don't. Do not use your Impale on an opponent if they're in someone else's ultimate or setup because you will knock them out of a setup and they might get away and live. Another thing not to do is do not use Disperse, which is your leap, offensively. Only use it defensively. When you get better at the game, you'll learn how to use it offensively, but right now, only use it defensively. Now, as far as items that should work with Honor, you should get the focus on Lifesteal, Penetration, Attack Speed, and Critical. These four stats are very useful with Honor, and these items reflect it very well. So suggested beginner build is these items. Your first or second item should be Warrior Tabi and Devourer's Gauntlets. After that, you should get Executioner for more attack speed and penetration. If you need more mana, then you can go for Yotan's Wrath first. It also gives penetration and power, and also cooldown. And then after that, you want to get some crits. So Malice and Deathbringer are very good for crits and finishing off. Now, there are two items you could interchange with this, and that would be the Quinn's Size for more attack speed and be able to hurt high HP targets, or the Titan's Bane, which also gives you a lot of damage and also a lot of penetration. Those all work very well with them. As far as actives go, Beads in case you get caught in a bad spot, and greater sprint so you can get to a situation or get out of a situation also very quickly, and just cause a lot of damage. Now in Arena, the first half of the match on her is mostly support. He's slowing things down with his pillar or body blocking that way, 
and using his stun to set things up for his teammates or just trying to get the final blows if he can. Later on in the match after the second half after he's farmed up, Honor is just a wrecking ball with his basic attacks so he can just do a lot of damage then. First half you're supporting, second half you're destroying. And also one nice thing about Honor's pillar is you can actually use it to body block the escort. Really nice. Now what are some counters you gotta worry about when you're playing Honor? Well first up is B's Aegis and Sprint. In general these are good against any god and Honor is no exception there. Another problem for Honor is juking. Because his attacks are all very skill shot based, uh, he has to aim well and land those shots. If an opponent does a really good job of dodging him, then Honor is going to be in for a world of hurt. Another big problem for Honor is knockback immunity. This gives Honor trouble because he relies on knockback to set up his damage combos. So certain gods with knockback immunity, especially Geb because his shield can be put on any god, gives Honor a lot of problems. Lastly is Hell's Cleanse which allows her team to ignore Honor's slow which can be used to detour a team because it slows them down, but because of her, they'll just run over it and then go after him and his team. Now in conclusion, Onher is a very solid ADC. He's capable of a lot of things, and he does have a bit of a high skill ceiling, but he can be played very well if you play him passively, and you can play him very aggressive later on in the future when you learn how to play him well. He has just a really strong base attack and his abilities can set up very well. Something else to think about is, he actually has six escapes if you think about it. He has a slow that can let him get away, he has a body block that can let him get away, he has a leap, he has a knockback, he has a stun, and of course CC immunity on his ultimate. So he has a lot of ways to do a lot of damage and also to get the heck out of there. So that's really good for him. And that should be everything about Onher. Next week is going to be a Bastet. That's what was decided in the stream when we did the discussion on Onher. And so that should be a lot of fun to talk about. So that is the guide right there for beginners. Hope this really helps you out. I had a lot of fun making it. I'll be a lot of fun watching it. And this was all Bazin. Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time. Also, if you want to join in on discussions, you can come over at 7 p.m. PST minus 8 GMT on Fridays at Scarf Plays on Twitch. See you there!